Morning guys, or I guess I should say good afternoon. I'm still at Mystic Hot Springs. This is a couple days later after I arrived. Me and Dan were just hanging out or by those old buses down the way. Just uh, catching up on edits, enjoying life, and taking advantage of the uh, amazing energy over here. Uh, we are gonna get a quick tour around the property from Mystic Mike, the owner of uh, Mystic Hot Springs. Everybody, this is uh, Mystic Mike. He's gonna give a uh, tour of the property and uh, very uh, excited to have a tour because uh, I learned a little bit about this place the other night. But um, let's let's start, let's right begin. On. Well, we're in the office. This is where we check people in. And uh, it's our little store too, so we got a bunch of cool stuff. This is also my indoor stage. We have a little TV studio. I've got a YouTube channel as well. We have about 400 videos on there. Sweet, what is it? And, uh, it's a Mystic 111 mic. Perfect, I'll link it below. Yeah, yeah, check it out. Um, it gives you some idea of the kind of uh, music we get here. Sweet. So yeah, then let's go out and just show you around a little bit. Awesome. We have a lot of water, about uh, 200 gallons a minute that comes out of the well at 168 degrees. There's a lot of minerals in the water and it's formed a mound of minerals that goes for a mile across. A couple hundred yards wide and a couple hundred foot thick. So all this whitish orange stuff, the red, that's all minerals that have come out of the water. Wow. Over here I'm building what we call geothermania. And geothermania basically means there's no burning going on. We're using the sun and the water, the hot springs water, to heat the structures. And if we design them carefully using passive solar techniques, then we can take advantage of all the natural uh, flows and stuff. So, so this one has a little bedroom. Yeah. And then up here is the, the main room. This was the old cabin. And so I cut a big hole here, put a big window in the side, and then this is the sunroom over here. So it's not too hot in here. I got a couple windows open, but I can also open these vents here in the summertime and vent all the heat out of the sunroom. In the wintertime, we open up the door and window and we allow all the heat to come in the house. That's cool. Are, yeah. Is this unit for rent? Not yet. Okay, but it will be. Eventually. And how much would something like this cost? Oh, I don't know yet. <laughs> um, then the heater's back here. So we use uh, the water flowing through the house and it just, the hot water puts off the heat. And mm -hmm. It just radiates out of that uh, tank then, huh? Yeah, yeah, and it makes a nice little spot here. I've got a little 12 volt solar system on this one. All right. It just takes this little teeny panel that's down here, right there. Oh yeah. To, to mm -hmm. charge and have lights for the house. So it really doesn't take much. Yeah. Uh, we also have a bathtub, kind of private bathtub on the outside of that one. This one here is called the Dragon House. <laughs> the Dragon House has water that flows through it as well. It also uses the passive solar design, so you can notice that most of the windows are on the south side. That allows the sun to come in and heat up the building, mostly in the winter, of course. So this is the, the Dragon House. Now we're just putting in the solar system here. Same uh, size panel, but we have a little gel cell battery there. Yeah, those are good batteries. Yeah, and we got a little inverter if we want to run some AC. But most everything is 12 volt. And then the water flows through the house to, comes into this bathtub here. Mm -hmm. And then it comes down here. We have a tank here that uh, heats up and there's a, it sits in a pool of hot springs water. There's just water in the tank. So the outside of the tank puts off uh, the heat. Hmm. We have a small north door so we can open that up. If we open this up, you can probably feel a little breeze almost oh, yeah. instantly. Yep. The minerals are coming out of the water at a very rapid rate. If you look at this nice little mound of minerals here, you might think, wow, well, probably taken tens of thousands of years to make this. 
when in fact it's only about a year and a half old. Wow! So what happens here happens really fast. Wow. We used to have some greenhouses up here, and that's what helped me to understand how to use the heat in the water. Mm -hmm. So I took those down because they just had plastic over them, and I want something more permanent that uh, will be more sustainable. So I have a new greenhouse design, and it'll be probably right here. Mm -hmm. And then I have several other sites down here to expand out geothermania with some more passive and active solar and active geothermal buildings. So anyway, we, uh, we're here at the last couple tubs up on the hill. This was the first one I put in about 21 years ago. So all these minerals weren't here when I got here. It looked just like the hill over here. And over time, they've just kept growing. So you used to be able to see from tub to tub. And as you can see, there's no chance of that now. I actually moved them out once as well. So, <laughs> that is so cool. So it really happened fast. <clears throat> so we have a few more tubs over here. And then there's a couple pools. And you can see the band when we have our music festival right from the tubs. <laughs> this is the coolest place on earth, I swear. I think so too. So that just about wrapped it up. We got, you know, a pit house over there. You can go check that out if you want. Or maybe you'll just have to save that when you're here in person. <laughs> Sweet. Well, Mystic Mike, thank you so much. High five. Thank you so much for the tour. If you guys haven't heard of this place, put this at the top of your bucket list because this is the most amazing hot springs property that I personally have ever been to. And since you guys have seen me stop at quite a few, hopefully you take my opinion. Cleaned earlier today, that's why it's not full. And what is this one called? This is a shallow pool. Okay. And then this is the deep pool. Mm -hmm. This one we usually keep a little hotter than this one. But uh, yeah, it's all nice and clean. It'll be fresh for tonight. <laughs> You know, that's the second time <laughs> I've had one of the like coolest uh, little tours of some place and I, I've been on low battery so I need to be better about charging this thing back up. I swear I plugged the thing in but <laughs> for some reason it, it didn't charge up enough. So we, oh, there's a mosquito in here, don't like those things. Um, anyways, like I said, time to hit the road. So guys, that is uh, Michelle and this is Sam and uh, we just met up there when I was doing some Instagram pictures, so they're gonna sign Dan the Adventure Bus. And they are on a road trip themselves. How many states are you guys going to? Three. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great though. In what, like two weeks? Ten days. Ten days? That's, that's, that's progress. That's, that's more driving than I do. So just met up with uh, Joshy Blue, by the way. Um, we are over in uh, Orem. That's a bike. That is a very loud motorcycle over there. Sick whip, bro! <laughs> but good thing he's wearing his helmet. Um, anyways, he works in a space where he can make me money. So we had a very nice chat. He also has ambitions. Amazing guy. Yeah, Taught yep. me a lot. <laughs> Get inspired, yeah. <laughs> he also has ambitions to talk to his right hand like I do all day long and travel. So uh, I would say it was a very good stop, a very good uh, meeting on my trip. So high five for that. Right. Uh, we'll see you yeah. somewhere in the future Soon. and hopefully in my bank account. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Good see you, dude. Good dude. Um, all right, so basically I have like the equivalent C of like caught mouth from talking for like at least two hours with this dude. Great stuff, learned a lot of info. Hopefully I shared info of equal or lesser value with him. And after this, I think we're gonna head to Salt Lake and surprise Muso. All 
Alright guys, I'm gonna call it a day. I got myself uh, some half price sushi if you guys have been uh, following along since the uh, Utah build days. I am over at uh, Musso's place. Musso's the genius who helped me out with uh, the, the wood that you can see basically. Uh, we sourced all the wood together. He, you know, did a lot of awesome work in here with the reclaimed wood. So anyways, uh, it was a fun day today. <laughs> And uh, really looking forward to tomorrow where we are going out to the Bonneville Salt Flats. So far, there's three school buses going, including myself. Uh, and I did post it on my Instagram story and Twitter an invitation. So if you guys do want to be periodically invited to things, uh, come and follow me somewhere else. And when I'm in the area, hopefully we can hang out. So, all right, guys. See ya.